So I'm first gonna uh, introduce myself for the people who don't know me yet. So my name is Fanny. Hi, I'm from Finland. And uh, 2014, I went to Indonesia for the first time. Then I met my husband. Then uh, I got married. We had three boys, and now we live in Finland uh, as a family of five. So um, yeah. So that's a little bit about me. Um, so uh, I have few plans for this video. Um, I have some interesting facts about Finland that I want to share with you. Uh, then I have few products that I want to show you that are suitable for Muslims in Finland. And then I want to talk a little bit about meat in Finland. You know, when you go to the normal grocery store, what you need to know um, when you are, you know, choosing meat and what are the words that you have to be looking out. Then after that, I'm going to check the comments. If you have uh, some comments, I will be answering your comments. And that's about it. We can have an interesting chat, inshallah. So, firstly, some interesting uh, facts about Finland is that speeding ticket is actually based on your income. So, for example, if you are speeding too, too fast with your car, um, you might get a ticket because there's many cameras on the road, but it depends how much money you make, how big the ticket will be. So that's one interesting fact about Finland. Um, then something that you may already know is that when a baby is born in Finland, um, the government will give a baby box for the parents or for the family that is uh, full of baby clothes, there's, you know, some products that you might might use, might need when you have a new baby. Um, you can also choose not to get the box if you want to have some money instead. So that's something interesting also. Um, then the next thing is that 75% of Finland is actually forest. And correct me if I'm wrong, but this is based on my research online. So yeah, 75% of Finland is forest. That's quite, yeah, that's quite interesting. Um, and you know that Finland is a country of lakes. So we have actually um, 187,888 lakes in Finland. So that's a lot, you know. So uh, as they say, you know, Finland is, there's a lot of nature, it's it's beautiful place. So it, it is because, you know, we have so much forest and so many lakes and the ar archipelago is also um, huge in Finland. So those were a little bit like fun facts about Finland, if you didn't know. And now I have some products for you to show that, um, you know, if you like sausages, for example, <clears throat> and you are in Finland, so um, most of the sausages, they are uh, pig. And um, even though it says that the, the sausage is, uh, for example, chicken or turkey, the cover might be any, in any case, like uh, pig. So you have to you have to always see what is the full product. So this is one of the products that is actually um, only turkey. It says kalkkuna and it says kuoreton. So this is 100% not pig. So if you are, you know, Muslim <clears throat> and you are in Finland, this is one of the sausages that you can you can really, really have. But um, you have to know that um, if, you, if you want really halal food, then you have to go to a, these ethnic shops. So the, these are just from the normal grocery stores like uh, Prisma, um, S-Market, Alepa, Sale, and then there is uh, Go City Market. 
go market and those. So you have to go to a really ethnic store to get really halal meat. But then I have these products, which is really, really cool. So this is köftis. And it is um, <clears throat> um, pastry from the east. And it says, well, yeah, th yeah this is like plant-based food. But you can see there's a muslin in the package. So this is actually some, some kind of winner from a competition. There's the, the picture of the man who has made this. And this is her mother's recipe. So these are really good. And they are a little bit spicy. But um, our kids, like at least one or two of the kids, like like these. So these are frozen food just from a normally normal grocery store. And I will show you. I just baked them in the morning. It is like this. So if you are looking for something, you know, spicy pastries, these are quite nice. I recommend these. They are uh, crunchy and then it's there's a like spicy filling with it's just about plant based. So another another thing that I had to mention is that Finland is uh, ve veganism is a big thing in Finland nowadays. So that's actually a good thing for Muslims also because um, because there's so many times there's this label in the package that um, it is vegan. Here is candies that um, has this gelatin free label. So these are really nice for Muslims that you know because many times candies have the gelatin which is, which is made um, out of pig. So this is how we know that this you know we can also eat this and and many times there's also this vegan um, sign in the in the candies so that's quite nice to know because then when you are in the store then you have to start you know reading reading what it says and what it has and so many times it, ha it has gelatin so yeah at least you know nowadays it's it's quite nice to have um, that option but yeah what else did I have for you? Um, so yeah, let's talk about the meat in, in the grocery stores. So for example, um, I'm drinking coffee with a little bit of um, cream and a little bit of milk. That's how I like it. So for example, if you go to a store and you're looking for meat, um, so many times the minced meat, for example, it has um, pig and um, beef. So it's a sika nauta. And I will have a uh, kind of like a uh, translations of these words for you in the comment section after this live. So I will do that later, inshallah. But yeah, so many times the meat is sika nauta. And also uh, for the products that are... Um, like if you if you are grabbing some of these you know that are that has meat so many times they have also um sika nauta you so you always have to see that um that if you are choosing something it should be only nauta or kana kana is chicken and nauta is beef so if it says sika or possu then it's a uh, pig um, yeah, so this this sausage is one one that I said that uh, doesn't have any any pig, and in Lidl they also had um, um, kind of like small sausages that are only um, uh, chicken sausages. But now that we are boycotting Lidl, we we haven't been to Lidl in I don't know <laughs> at least four months. So, um, yeah, I, I think actually the little sausages were the best, but 
yeah, we haven't been to Lidl, you know, since since I found out that uh, Lidl is supporting Israel, you know, doing uh, the genocide in, in Gaza. So that's that's why we stopped going there. But yeah, but at least this is this is good. Um, there's so many options of chicken and beef. There's only um, beef minced meat in in the local stores. There's also chicken minced uh, meat in the local stores. And but you have to know that if they, these are not labeled halal. So if you want really really halal, you have to go to the the um, um, Muslim owned meat um, stores. In for example, we live uh, in Salo, so this this place doesn't have um, like so so good options for halal, you know, meat. We have only one store. Uh, it's like ethnic grocery store in Salo that I know of. Uh, and last time we actually went there last week, and now I saw that they had like some meat also and I'm, I'm thinking that that is halal meat if you go to Helsinki Turku you know those bigger cities you you will find you know better options for halal meat so you can just google online um, halal halal liha or halal meat in Helsinki halal meat in Turku Tampere um, yeah and you will definitely find some halal meat uh, most of the halal and ethnic stores in Helsinki are in uh, Helsingin Katu, in the in the really really central. So they are really close to each other. So that that's really nice for um, if you are shopping some you know Asian food or you know yeah just eth ethnic groceries, and they have really good options. Sometimes when we go to Helsinki, we just want to go to the ethnic stores in Helsinki because they have so so good uh, options there they even have like um, what is it the um, durian cakes for example if you know durian that grows in in Asia and many parts of the world they have like durian cakes and frozen duria it's really expensive <laughs> but if you want to have that you 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 can have that but it's it's there. Um, then about the restaurants, we have like some uh, kebab and pizza, pizzeria kind of um, businesses like restaurants in Finland, so many. Um, and I love those, you know, they, they have um, they have chicken kebab, they have um, lamb kebab and like many like there you get you, you will know that this is for you know muslim friendly because they are also muslims um, but they also have if you if you buy a pizza that has like this it's called um, liha suikale or what's what's the name uh, no kinkku suikale kinkku su it basically says ham um, just like ham bites so that that is um, pig. So you should be aware of that. That's not um, beef, but they have like kebab, many many kinds of kebab, and you know many options there as well. Um, but yeah, like I'm I'm excited to you know like um, explore more of these Muslim friendly foods nowadays, and I'm really you know impressed that they. These, these kinds of um, products are starting to come out that are like, you can visibly see that they are for Muslims. So I, I really love that because um, we didn't have that before. Like it's all about the pig in Finland. So it's really a positive thing that they have the, these kind of, uh, kinds of products. Um, yeah, so that's basically it about the meat that I know of. If you have any questions, just let me know. Um, where's the co comment section? This one? Live chat. No. 
no comments. If you have any questions, you can comment me. Comment me. Comment down below. But if you don't, let me do a poll. Ask your community. Mm. Is there good meat options? Um, for Muslims in your country, Muslims in your country. And let me know also, where are you from? Yes. No. Yeah. So yeah. Um one vote. No. Where are you from? With which country? Are you from Europe or um where exactly? Today is quite a gloomy day. Um so many clouds. Live chat. America. Okay. I thought that maybe you would have like, well, depends on the city, basically. Just as in, in Finland, like bigger cities, there's good options, but smaller cities, there's not so many options. But yeah, I, we just actually watched a um, we watch a documentary about or it well it was just a basic YouTube video from somebody who lives in um, USA and he was telling about a city that has like seventy percent of Muslims in America. Is that correct? I, I'm not sure which which city was that. But that was quite interesting. That was du during R Ramadan. We we watched uh, so many videos about um, how do different uh, nationalities um, celebrate Ramadan over the world. How are you doing, sister? I am good. I am good. And now I actually let you know before that I'm doing a live. So Alhamdulillah, I'm getting better. So somebody Somebody said that they have good options for Muslim-friendly meat. Oops. Oops. Yeah. Um, what else? Yeah, would be like, I, I dream about going to Morocco someday, but I don't know <laughs> when, maybe when I'm old or something, but like, yeah, I just, I just love the, the, the culture there and, you know, like all the, like how the cities look and all the handicrafts that they, that they do there. And that's just so inspirational for me. And I often like, I, when I'm, you know, decorating something or, that kind of stuff. I, I like to look at some inspiration for, from Morocco. So that's really interesting to me. What are your uh, like places that you are interested about? New York City and Dearborn, Michigan have a lot of options in the US. Other cities are limited to a few spots. Yeah. That's basic, basic, yeah, just like bigger cities. But I bet like in New York, they, they would have a lot of places. Oops. Oh, the pole is there.
so three bip no 67 percent says yes 33 no okay yeah but yeah we live in the in the really really countryside uh in finland and hello irma you know um my my grandmother's name was actually irma so that's fun my my mother's mother's name was irma are you from indonesia you you, you were also yes yesterday in in my live right So yeah, we live in, in the really countryside. We we only have like cars and tractors going um, next to the house. And then we have um, just fields <clears throat> and the houses are quite far away from each other. We, <clears throat> <clears throat> somehow my voice is down. We live basically um, next to or in between two farms. So there's a strawberry farm and other other side of the house is a farm that I think he grows rye or something. Rye is really popular in Finland. Finnish people love to eat rye, rye bread, for example. <clears throat> so yeah, Finland is really um, famous for having so many options for different kinds of milks and yogurts like we have if you go to the grocery store they have basically like a wall um, that is probably like 50 meters and it's full of dairy products and <laughs> i don't know if it's a good or bad thing but um, finnish people love to love dairy so um and many people also have like this lacto lactose intolerance, which which is why we have for for that we have so many uh, products to you know get around that. Is it easy for you as a Muslim in your rural area? Um, yeah, so um, I made a video about that because I, I wore the hijab. <clears throat> Where's my voice? I wore the hijab for a one year. And um, and I, I wore it also, you know, outside of the house. But because, you know, this is this is so countryside. So I really don't like the the like how people see me um, and I know that's you know that's basic for every Muslim every Muslim woman around the world you know people people just see you as a they they just they just focus so much on the on the hijab so so I, I really didn't like that I think it affected you know you know my interactions with with other people and how people saw me and because this is such a small small village and i know that's not a not an excuse but um yeah i made a video that i'm not gonna wear the hijab anymore and you can see that on my channel um you can also subscribe if you didn't subscribe to my channel yet but um yeah nowadays and and so somebody said to me also that why, why, like, could you just wear the hijab for your videos and not wear it um, in your everyday life? And then I was like, I think that's kind of like cheating. Like it, for you, it seems like I'm wearing the hijab, but then I, when I go to my daily, daily chores, I'm not wearing the hijab, yeah. but that's, what I'm doing right now like um, sometimes <laughs> I, I'm just wearing it um, whenever I feel like it and that's like that's kind of like the journey that I'm in right now I'm trying to wear it as much as I can but um, sometimes I, I, I just don't <laughs> I just don't want to 
So that's just, you know, my my journey. And inshallah, you know, I will someday wear it, like be comfortable wearing it, because that's that's really what I'm looking for. Um, but I'm not there yet. So, you know, for everybody, it's a, it's a different kind of journey. And, you know, I, I hope that everybody's, you know, blessed and guided. But yeah, it's not always easy. So, and if it's like too, too difficult, like I, I, I felt so much that now this topic is ruling so much of my daily life. Like every time I'm trying to create content for you or on, on Instagram, I'm just, it's just, um, it's just blocking me. Like I'm, I'm thinking too much of what people are thinking about me. I'm thinking how I should be seen. And I just had to remove that and just do what I felt like doing. And inshallah, someday I will be really comfortable. Let's see the comments. Countryside, good for your lungs. Yes, it's really pure. The air is really clean. Is Finland in East Europe? I'm poor about location. Uh, Finland is... Hey, I have one card for you. Just a sec. This I wanted to show you also. So this is basically from a game. This is Finnish flag. Is it the right side? I'm not sure. But... Uh, Finland in Finnish is Suomi, so we, we call Finland Suomi, and in Finland we speak uh, Finnish, so um, yeah, the Finnish is the language that, what, that we speak, and Finland is um, between Russia and Sweden, so here you can see Russia, Finland is the red one, then there's Sweden, and then there's Norway. So that's where Finland is. And Finnish language, it's, um, if you listen to it, it sounds a bit more like Estonian. But many words that, that are similar mean different things. So that's how it's quite funny sometimes. Um, uh, in Finland, there's 5.5 million people, so it's a really small country. And Finland is in the north of Europe, so it's not in the east or west, it's just north. And we have four seasons. Um, now we are living spring, then there's summer, then there's fall, and then there's winter. But like this year... This winter, this past winter, we had snow like six months, so that was a lot. So it's it might be three months snow, but it, it also might be six months snow. So it depends on the year. Um, sister, just keep striving. Allah sees your struggle. Social anxiety sucks. Yeah, that's. That's re <laughs> really true. And yeah, I think it would be easier if I would be in contact with many people, you know, in a everyday basis, but I'm not like we, we don't, there's, there's like the people that I see is just like, can be like few people and they are not, you know, people that I know. So um, and sometimes I don't see any people. We are just here and there's just cars passing by. <laughs> and um, yeah, sometimes, you know, I think about, I just said to Bobby that Bobby is my husband. Uh, I said that, do you ever think about moving back to Helsinki? And he's like, yeah, sometimes. But the thing is that um, now when we, we've been living here in this house like three years and, you know, 
the boys have, you know, this is their, their childhood and they really love to be here. They have friends here now and, you know, they, they love the garden, they love the house. So, uh, like, thinking about going there, going here and just last year when we went to Indonesia, you know, they were missing our home so much that, um, you know, sometimes as a parent, we just have to be, um, you know, trying to <laughs> try to be still in where we are, like not, not all the time trying to figure out what we should do next and should we move, should we go there, should we, like, like kids don't really want that. They are, they, they, I think kids just want stability. You know, that's how I feel so many times. But yeah, there's a lot of nature, it's a quiet place, and alhamdulillah, you know, that's something that you have to be grateful nowadays. Yeah, well, if there's not so many questions anymore, maybe I will wrap this up. It's been 31 minutes. If you have any questions more, I will answer them, but then, then I will finish the video and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for being here. I love to chat with you. It's so awesome to have people around the world that, you know, I can just like speak like this. Thank you. Thank you so much. I will see you in my next live and be sure to subscribe. Last, que last question. Do you like Finland or Indonesia more? Uh, you know, that's, that's been, you know, so a lot of on, on the table for us for, for these past years. We, when we, when we had our first child, we just felt like we have to come to Finland. And, um, then, you know, ever since we, we have, you know, dreamed about living in Indonesia, but, um, now this this last time when we actually tried that again we've tried that many times we've left finland and went to indonesia and took all the kids and you know try to live there try to uh, build business try to you know make so many things happen and now this this last time you know going there alone with three kids and bobby <clears throat> bobby was living in finland still because he had to work and he was about to come um, later, but I was there alone um, with the boys and with Bobby's, you know, relatives. And I just, it's, it's really heavy to try your, you know, your all and having three kids and trying to homeschool and trying to work and, you know, it's really heavy. So, you know, inshallah, like someday if, if the finances would be better and we would, you know, boys are bigger or, you know, we would have like much, much better resources would be nice to live there. But at the moment, I'm not um, dreaming about Indonesia anymore. I'm just happy to be here and live in the moment and have, you know, just, you know, focus in the here and now. So yeah, at the moment, Finland is better. Um, but yeah, I love Indonesia. I love the culture. I love the food. I love, you know, the people. So many people, you know, they, they are so, they like to talk and, you know, explore, explore things and, uh, you know, go to places and they are so outgoing. So I love that about Indonesians. And the nature is also really beautiful. But yeah, inshallah someday. But I will sent greetings from Finland to Indonesia for everybody who is there and I will see you in the next video thank you so much for this live assalamualaikum bye